center is a metaphor for the growth and maturity that has taken place in our movement. It has become a beacon in the city and a beacon in the country. It's a place where we really celebrate what's fun, what's different, what's special about our community. It's like a gay Ellis Island. It's essential to me that the entire community gets to celebrate our 25th anniversary. In 1983, we felt all of the imperatives that the community felt under siege by an AIDS crisis. So many of our friends and lovers were sick and dying. And that generated the passion that moved us to demand a place of our own here in the city. Once it was identified that we would have a home base, it was an explosion of enthusiasm. ACT UP was founded here at the center in 1987. GLAD, the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation. We began to become very much aware of the life that we had, those of us who survived. In a sense, we had to carry the light of the people we lost. We had only three staff people, but the building was full of gay people who were coming to get involved and fight back for our community. The moment is best captured in, in Keith Haring's work. You see in his figures the frantic energy, the passion, you see all of that, all of that that existed at that moment. Who could have imagined then how much would have changed in the ensuing 25 years? We've exploded as a community. We're no longer marginalized or pushed into the shadows. The center has changed in 25 years as our community has changed. One of the very first tenants here was SAGE. Immigration equality founded at the center and center is where Marriage Equality New York was founded. Hey, what's the big idea? Oh. Our current programming is incredibly broad and incredibly diverse. An enormous amount of the community are walking through our doors these days to begin the process of family planning. Our center kids services enable us to be parents, enable us to be mothers and fathers the people we've always dreamt of being. Find my voice and find my song. The young people in our community are coming out today at an ever younger age. The sound of voices joining one. They come here really looking for a place to find community, to connect with their peers, and just to you know get a sense of who they are. The center gave me hope and strength and allowed me to be myself without being fearful that I was going to be hurt or endangered. I'm involved with Chorus, uh, Youth Pride Chorus, which is an excellent thing. Youth Pride Chorus! <laughs> center is really that it's been vital in creating lots of the institutions that are so critical to really taking care of ourselves, promoting health in our community. The center was, was really instrumental in providing sort of that connection between the worlds of social, social justice and, and public health. I've always regarded myself as male. The LGBT Center was able to provide me with counseling there. And I could just openly express my feelings instead of a teaching lesson. It was me expressing myself. The goal of Center Care was to assist people with any kind of social services or mental health needs that they might have. Being HIV and just dealing with that at such an early age, uh, knowing that there was a lot of people here who come who have been through that experience. I was able to raise my hand and say, this is what I'm going through, this is what should I be doing? And um, I listened. Our priorities as Center Care while providing services is to take care of communities of color, open more spaces for the transgender community, enforce HIV prevention to tackle other correlated factors like substance abuse. Well, I definitely have made a complete 180 in my life. You know, after work, I would probably be at happy hour going to some bars and the center became the place where I started going to after work. The center has provided me with a strong foundation. I feel like my life's actually going somewhere, and it's going up. That's right! Get up and the 
center has expanded beyond its original meeting place for the, for the gay community. There isn't a prominent elected official that hasn't come to the center and been part of a forum. I'm the Speaker of the New York City Council and the first woman or openly LGBT person to have that position. If it wasn't for the center, I quite literally would never have gotten this job. The center is a place that provides, again, not just a home, but a place where we can empower ourselves and really work to create the kind of just and kind society that we believe everyone deserves, including our family. We need laws that protect us on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. I think the main issue for the center is we've got to figure out how to be as central and critical to the health and well-being of this community in the next 25 years as we have been in the past 25 years. That's right! I had just moved to New York and walked around this building four or five times before I would actually come in because I didn't want anyone on the street to see me. I was afraid. And when I finally did walk in, I was just a sigh of relief. This was really the first place where I felt as if I had come home. As we celebrate the center's 25th anniversary, it's great to feel proud of where we've come, of the progress we've made, but it's really about looking ahead and building for the future. More and more of us will come out, we will only get stronger, and we are inexorably, inevitably, on a journey to full equality. And the center is on that journey with all of us. The future is as broad and as exciting as the people who come here and bring their dreams and their thoughts and their visions of what they want their tomorrow to be. What do we want for gay kids tomorrow? We want them not to live in fear. We want them to be healthier. We want them to be safe. We want them to dream really big dreams and never be persuaded that they should shrink from any threat because they come from people who were giants and they will grow to be giants. We come from greatness and we are going toward more greatness.